You're listening to the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. I'm John Stonge, and today we're in Numbers chapter 36. And this is what we read. Then the heads of the clans of Gilead, descendants of Machir, son of Manasseh, son of Joseph, came to Moses and the family leaders of Israel with a petition. They said, Sir, the Lord instructed you to divide the land by sacred lot among the people of Israel. You were told by the Lord to give the grant of land owned by our brother Zelophehad to his daughters. But if they marry men from another tribe, their grants of land will go with them to the tribe into which they marry. In this way, the total area of our tribal land will be reduced. Then when the year of Jubilee comes, their portion of land will be added to that of the new tribe, causing it to be lost forever to our ancestral tribe. So Moses gave the Israelites this command from the Lord. The claim of the men of the tribe of Joseph is legitimate. This is what the Lord commands concerning the daughters of Zelophehad. Let them marry anyone they like as long as it is within their own ancestral tribe. None of the territorial land may pass from tribe to tribe, for all the land given to each tribe must remain within the tribe to which it was first allotted. The daughters throughout the tribes of Israel who are in line to inherit property must marry within their tribe, so that all the Israelites will keep their ancestral property. No grant of land may pass from one tribe to another. Each tribe of Israel must keep its allotted portion of land. The daughters of Zelophehad did as the Lord commanded Moses. Mala, Tirzah, Hagla, Milka, and Noah all married cousins on their father's side. They married into the clans of Manasseh, son of Joseph. Thus their inheritance of land remained within their ancestral tribe. These are the commands and regulations that the Lord gave to the people of Israel through Moses while they were camped on the plains of Moab beside the Jordan River across from Jericho. Let's pray. Lord, we thank you for your word, and we thank you for the privilege of being able to look at it today, and we thank you for the things that we see in this particular chapter. Lord, we see that a big discussion in this chapter related to the concept of an inheritance that the people of Israel would have and would share with those that came after them. And Lord, you gave further regulation here as to how that inheritance was to be treated and how the tribal lands of the tribes of Israel were to be protected and passed along. And Lord, when we look at a portion of scripture like this, we're reminded of the fact that through faith in your son, Jesus Christ, we have an inheritance in your kingdom that you promise will never spoil or fade or rust or be stolen or any of the things that can happen to an earthly inheritance. Lord, you've given us great promises through faith in your Son, Jesus Christ. And you tell us in your word that where our treasure is, there our heart will be also. So, Lord, we pray that today would be a day that we avoid letting our hearts become overly attached to the things of this world. Our inheritance is in your kingdom and not in things that are temporary in nature. We rejoice in the fact that through faith in Jesus Christ, we have a secure, eternal inheritance that won't be taken away from us. We love you, Lord, and we thank you that you have provided that for us and that it's secure in you. Lord, we pray that throughout the course of this day that we would be mindful of you. We pray that we would put you first in all things. And we thank you, Lord, for your love and your goodness and your grace and your presence with us. We commit this day to you, and we thank you for it all in Jesus' name. Amen. Thanks again for listening to this episode of the Chapter a Day Audio Bible. Don't forget, we also have a sister podcast called the Informal Bible Study, where we study the scriptures in depth in a casual and applicational way. New episodes of the Informal Bible Study go live every Monday, so be sure to check it out and subscribe through your favorite podcast player. Thanks again for listening, and have a wonderful day.